Alright, so this is all temporary in here for the moment, obviously. Uh, this is my accelerator pedal. It's going out to the engine bay. This is my gas gauge. Uh, again, also going out to the engine bay. Uh, this is my 2015 ignition switch. I've got it currently wired up into my existing 2003 harness and we're going to give it a test fire using the original 2003 uh, ignition switch. Hopefully everything comes to life on both the 2003 and the 2015 harnesses. Um, so I think I'm ready. I think we'll give it a shot. Oh, um, I've got my, uh, that's my Pat's receiver from my 2015. So I'll need to have my 2015 key in the proximity of that for the moment until I get that resolved. So we'll see what happens. Here we go. So before we get too far along, I need to come over here and turn my kill switch on. I got cluster powered on now. That's a start. Cluster dinging, that's a good thing too. Key is on. Do a real quick check in the engine bay. I'm sure, we don't have anything going to be an issue. Everything looks pretty tidying up out of the way. All right, so I was unsuccessful, obviously, with my last attempt at this. Um, started going through and double checking all of my wires <clears throat> that come through the passenger firewall uh, through that bulkhead. I depend about 60 pins over there. I just went back and started double checking my work. Found two pins that were reversed. One was a white with out a stripe and one was white with the blue stripe so those two were flipped around right next to each other uh, so fix that we'll give this another shot uh, see how this goes so I got my 2003 ignition there's my 2015 key near the response near the transponder Oh, we got lights now. That's good. That's, uh, oh, we're dinging too. All right. We're going to be brave and try this. Let's see what happens.
here, what I'll do is I'll actually tidy up all the wires that I have temporarily installed between the two ignition switches. Uh, and we can work on getting the rest of the dash put back together. See if my gas pedal works. Oh yeah. Still got lots to do, but this is really exciting. This is feeling a little more real now. So we're, we are starting to warm up a little bit on our temperature gauge here. Uh, we're finally idled down. I uh, just got done reading codes. I've got the uh, ambient temp sensor and a couple EVAP codes. Shouldn't be any major big deal there. Exciting though, it's actually found its idle. It's happy there. Grab my light. Still hoping we get the fans to come on. That's kind of what a Something else I was wanting to have in this test run here. Nothing yet. Give it a few more minutes, see what happens. Alright, so I still haven't gotten the fans to come on yet, but I wanted to check my temperature real quick on my tuner. So I'm still hovering right around 200. I'm, I'm okay with that. We're not getting too hot yet. Uh, I just wanted to keep an eye on it. Make sure we're not melting anything down before we get the fans to come on. So we'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully the fans will come on here any second now.